Love is a heartwarming and heartbreaking series on Netflix by Judd Apatow. And it is a story about a little nerdy, kind of awkward guy named Gus, and he's been dealing with bad relationships, and he runs into a woman by the name of Mickey. She's not only an alcoholic, but she's a sex and love addict, and by pure chance, or maybe even fate, they happen to meet. And this series is about the journey of their relationships, the ups and the downs. But in this video, we're gonna recap season three and talk about how this is literally the epitome of toxic relationships. So if you have not watched Love yet, there will be some spoilers, but make sure you go watch this series if you haven't yet because there's a lot of good stuff that we can learn about our mental health. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And in this video, I'm going to do my season three review of Love on Netflix. So if you're new here, my channel is all about mental health. I'm here to help you with your mental health and to help you not get into toxic relationships. And that is a lot of what's gonna be going on in this video, okay? So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do subscribe because I will be doing other videos on this show and diving into specific scenes. And I'm also an addict and alcoholic in recovery. So any of you out there who are not addicts or alcoholics in recovery and like this show, I will give you a little bit more clarity on what's going on in our crazy heads, why some things happened the way they did in this relationship. It might help you understand it a little bit more. But all of you out there who are addicts or alcoholics in recovery, this show is literally why you don't get into a relationship your first year of recovery, okay? But anyways, let's jump into this thing. Like, as I was watching season three of Love, I was sitting there just watching this stuff and just the cringe and just feeling terrible for Mickey and terrible for Gus and terrible for the friends. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, why, why do I love this show so much? I was sitting there and just asking myself, like, why am I so fascinated by this show? Why have I watched it, you know, religiously since season one? What is it about this show? And then, it clicked for me. This show reminds me of every single toxic, terrible relationship that I have ever been in. It has reminded me of every awful relationship that I thought was going to end with this happily ever after. That is why I was so fascinated by it. And I think that's exactly why a lot of people who like this show are very into this show because everything that happens in this is so, so common. Like last night, you know, when I was watching, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, you know, if anybody out there wanted to know like what to do to have a healthy relationship, all you need to do is watch Love, seasons one, two, and three, okay? Take everything that they do in their relationship and do the exact opposite. That is how you will have a healthy relationship because literally everything they do, oh, just from the passive aggressiveness to the inability to control um, one's anger, to point out each other's faults in the middle of a fight, like sit back and ask yourself this. When, when in your life, in any of the relationships you've had, when has a fight ever been resolved by your partner pointing out something that you did and then you bring up something that they did. How has that, how has that worked out for you in the past? Not so well, I'm guessing, right? Um, but also like with Mickey's character as a recovering alcoholic, it's crazy to me because, you know, she mentions um, when they get into the relationship in season two, she talks about how you're not supposed to get in a relationship for your first year. By the way, who, like the people writing this script, like the way they depicted Mickey and like things about AA and stuff like that, like mwah, beautiful, beautiful. Like I get really excited when I see shows that do a very, very good job about this, all right? So it was, it was actually perfect. Like a lot of the sayings, a lot of the things that Mickey was going through, but there were so many times where Mickey, she starts these fights, but she feels completely justified in it. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, girl, 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 this is why. This, like, what's happening in this scene, this is why you don't get in a relationship your first year. Like I, like I said, I will be doing more episode breakdowns, but for example, the whole scene at Gus's parents' house where he said, you know, don't hold your breath about having a baby. And then he talks to her about him being worried about her recovery. Like, yes, that's why. That's one of the reasons why you don't get in a relationship your first year. Most people in your life are just waiting for the other shoe to drop. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm an addict in recovery who has had multiple relapses, and 90% of anybody who's staying sober has had multiple relapses. But on the other hand, too, Gus, you know, and they didn't show it as much. It only showed Mickey at like one meeting and Gus at one uh, codependence meeting. And like, you know, this is why uh, codependence and alcoholics or addicts have these crazy relationships because Gus keeps wanting to give, 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 give and wants to try to fix Mickey. And what I found interesting too, and they didn't really like dive deep into it um, when they met Gus's parents and his family, his mom was drunk, but we didn't really find out if she was an alcoholic or if she just likes to get drunk. But typically children of alcoholics or addicts, they will date people like their addict or alcoholic parent, okay? So Gus, without even realizing it, he might be trying to date Mickey to try to fix her the way he could never fix his mom. And so there's so many things we can learn about mental health in this show. It's absolutely amazing. Like I, I work at a rehab for those of you who don't know, and I really want my clients to watch this show because the biggest suggestion is don't get in a relationship the first year and probably 95 to 100% of them do get in a relationship their first year. It is very rare that you find somebody who doesn't, but maybe they can learn from this. But that brings me to the next point. Oh my God. So like, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about what the writers were doing with this. And I'm just like, were they trying to show like what real love looks like? Like, you know, that they overcome obstacles, they overcome challenges and they stay together. I'm like, no, no, they did this way too well. I really think that the writers of the show love, they wanted to show you what a toxic, terrible relationship looks like. Like I'm gonna do some more investigation, but I guarantee some of the writers or Judd Apatow or or Paul Rust, they've been in a relationship like this where they dated an addict or an alcoholic and it was awful and they were just showing that truth. But what breaks my heart, what breaks my heart so much, oh my God, is seeing the response on Twitter and how people think like, oh my God, this is so, so beautiful. I'm like, this, this is why, this is why I have my channel. This is why I started The Rewired Soul because you poor, poor things. This is not what a good relationship looks like. And I don't think the writers ever intended it for it to be like that. This is what a bad, bad, bad relationship looks like. But anyways, so you get my point. Let's take take a minute and read a few tweets, okay? So this first tweet is from Melanie Jackson. Four episodes into the last season of Love and I'm cheering for Gus more than ever. Melanie, if you're cheering for Gus, it better be cheering for Gus to take off, run away, never look back and forget all about Mickey. I hope that's what you were cheering on, but I don't think it's what you meant. This next tweet comes from Liz Almighty. Sorry, this might be a spoiler, but oh my God, I just cried for a whole minute because legit Gus and Mickey got married. Also, because when I'm married, I'm effing, eloping, effing reception and people. Okay, so at first I thought this was like kind of a joke and I was like, no, no, this isn't a joke. Like, watching the last episode, I was just furious. Like, I'm gonna do a breakdown specifically of the last episode, uh, but anyways, like, when they were getting married and then they decided to call it off, I'm like, oh my God, thank God, thank God they came to their senses. But then it ended with them sneaking off to go get married. I'm like, no, 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 absolutely not. Like, again, it pains me to see how people saw, especially how that last season, last episode played out with the friends chiming in on like, are you sure about this? You know, and bringing up all the issues they've had. And they're like, no, no, we're perfect. No, we're perfect. Like talk about the denial. All right, but let's read this last tweet from Sebi316. That's it, it's done. The ending could not have been more perfect. I'm so sad that it's over and I'm so happy for Mickey and Gus. This right here, this right here is the exact reason why I had to talk about this stuff. Like, no, 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 no. And I also, Sebi, if you watch this, I saw one of your other tweets and you talked about how it makes you miss an old relationship. No, man, you getting out of that relationship was the best thing to ever happen to you. You guys, this is not what a healthy relationship looks like. It is not. The threats of the breakups, the, the fights over small, stupid, insignificant things, Relationships are not about taking two broken people and having them try to fix each other. That is not how this thing works. Like, like, let's think about it for a second. I know it might be extreme, but like, you guys, like, this is almost like saying that Sid and Nancy were this adorable couple. Like, no, 
we look back in history and say, this was sick and twisted. But one of the reasons I started my whole playlist that I hope you check out after watching this video called The Broken Picker is because people have this false idea of what a romantic and healthy relationship looks like. This is absolutely not what this stuff's supposed to look like. So for all of you out there who thought that this had a beautiful ending and it couldn't have ended better and you're so happy for Gus and Mickey, like I'm gonna make a prediction. If in some time they make a season four, five, and six of this, I guarantee, I 100% guarantee it's gonna end in a divorce in less than a year. That is my bet, I would put money on it, okay? There is no way that that would work out. By the way, if you wanna take a look at the United States divorce rates, this show is the reason why. Because people jump into these relationships and think that this is their soulmate because they are so broken and messed up, okay? <laughs> but anyways, anyways, like I said, if you have not watched Love yet, please go watch it and learn some lessons from it. But if you did watch Love, I wanna hear what you thought about it. What is your thoughts about the relationship between Mickey and Gus? Make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you would like, if there's any topics from any of the episodes that you would like me to cover, make sure you leave a comment down below. I already have a list of different episodes and scenes that I wanna break down, but I would love to hear from all of you. I'm here for you, I'm here for you. You know why? Because I have a healthy relationship with all of you, all right? But anyways, anyways, please share this video so more people can learn about what unhealthy relationships look like. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, again, click that little round subscribe button. All my videos are to help you, to help you out so, so much with your mental health, okay? You can also click or tap on one of those thumbnails, check out some other videos. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.